I actually grew up a military brat, so I'm from some of everywhere, but right now I live in Columbus, Ohio. I've been writing since I was eight, but I was a humongous book nerd, and I used to run through books like three, four a week, and I got really bored. I was sitting on the couch, and I was just like, every single book is the same, and I'm over it. And I was like, I kept, like, I'd finish the book, and then I'd look at whoever published it, and I'm like, if this is what's getting published, why can't I do it? And I put the book down, I went in the closet, and I started looking at, like, the bottom of the book to see the publishing companies, and I started looking up guidelines, and that's how it happened. I have a publisher, um, La Femme Fatale. Okay. Yep, they, I ended up going with them. I sent off to Kensington, um, Simon & Schuster, uh, Zane, I feel like there's too much in my head to put myself in a specific genre, but um, Stripping Asia is, I guess you can say it's street, just because of how it's based and where it's located, but it's not even really that bad, because I didn't, every other word is not F this or something vulgar, um, it's just, I believe it's the things that happen that would kind of push it that way. Stripping Asia is about um, a brother and a sister who um, lose one of their parents in a very tragic manner and from that point their world is just gone as they know it and they're sent to live with family they never met before clear across the country and while under this family's care they're both abused in different ways so everything that happens to them is told from her point of view who at the time is 17 so it's told from her perspective. It's, it was just a collection of stuff. Things I had saw, things that um, I experienced, things people I know experienced. I've been a lot of different places, seen a lot of different things, and I think that contributed to the book and the story. It's gonna sound really selfish, <laughs> but when I started it, I really wrote it for me. But um, after I started getting reviews, it had a much larger impact than what I anticipated. It was a challenge. I, I really wanted to see if I could do it. So it was more so, okay, you want to write a book? Let's see how good you are. And so it was like a challenge for myself. But from that point, it was like, I realized that I had accidentally became a voice for abused children, abused women, like families who have all these secrets and they don't talk about them. And, I was like, oh wow, so it's actually, um, the range could start at 16, but I've had 75 year old women in tears that have read my book, so it, it can go anywhere, I believe. I feel like with rape, abuse, um, like any type of um, emotional, physical abuse in any kind of way should be spoke upon. So. In the book, you learn that even if it's through keeping a journal, because Asia keeps a journal and there's like journal entries throughout the book, um, even if it's something as small as that, just having an outlet, like it's really important to do that. Um, and I think that's one of the main things that is relayed in the book, along with um, even though like her brother ends up selling drugs, but the manner that it happens is like, oh, okay, you know, everybody who does it isn't just because they think it's cool, it's because they don't have another option. Painting or drawing or just having an outlet to release what you've been through out on something positive is very important. Um, and then also, like I said, with her brother, he ends up selling drugs. And I think it's important for society as a whole to see that, you know, just because that's what you do, it's not because you think it's cool, it's because you know, you had to feed yourself at a young age and you didn't have any choice. You learned, you learned something. Doing, yeah, you and even so, if you haven't, you. like reading the book, you see like, you have to take something away from this and hopefully it's that you need to stop and go somewhere else with it. I do, I have three. Okay. I don't know why I did this to myself, but I have three. Um, Larceny is, uh, it comes out in November. The Color of Money comes out on Halloween. <laughs> And Angel comes out the day after Christmas. <laughs> Angel is actually Asia's brother. So what happens is after um, after reviews and stuff came in, he's a favorite character. And 
it's only fair that he's allowed to tell his side of everything that happened. Not that it's repeating the same story because you know what happened already, but he's giving you everything from his side. Like, you know, yeah, she, she tells you that I was abused, but you don't know the way I saw it or how I felt when it happened. So that's, that's his book. I actually just had one of the other vendors came over here and she was like, oh, and then like the minute I started explaining it, like her whole facial expression changed. And I was like, see, it's not even what you thought it was, but yes, all the time I have to be like, wait, it's not about a stripper. <laughs> so all the time. But then afterwards, they're like, oh, okay, I like it now. I can deal with it now. But yeah, offhand, everybody thinks it's about a stripper. This is a really great event, and I'm glad that I was able to be a part of it. So thank you. I'll come back. <laughs> I'll definitely come back.